Now we are going into Puerto Rican poetry, and Sofia Margarita Lopez <laughs> will uh, read to us from Julia de Burgos. Uh, Sofia Margarita Lopez was born and raised in Guayn Guaynabo, Puerto Rico. And I apologize if I mispronounce some of the words in multiple languages that were written <laughs> from I don't know. No. I mispronounced most of the words anyway, period. So. <laughs> Although her first language is Spanish, she began studying English at five years of age. After completing her primary school on the island, she moved to upstate New York to study English literature. She received her BA from Cornell, Cornell University in 2013 and is currently pursuing an MFA at San Francisco State University. Julia de Burgos was a Puerto Rican poet and a member of the pro-independence nationalist party. To many, she is considered the most successful female poet from Puerto Rico. After being the only out, the only out of 13 brothers and sisters to go to college, she graduated from the University of Puerto Rico before beginning to publish her poetry in the 1930s. Her poetry is known for its strong nationalist and feminist ideas. Please welcome Julia de Burgos. And <laughs> So I'm actually going to start. Um, this first poem is called um, Rio Grande Eloisa. Rio Grande is a, an actual river that's in Puerto Rico. You'll see in the poem it stands for much more than that. But um, it's an actual river. Eloisa is a place. And I'm going to read just the first two stanzas of the Spanish because I kind of wanted to like get the rhythm out there as well. Um, it, it's longish. Okay. So I'll, I'll read the first two stanzas. Later I can read another one. Rio Grande Eloisa, alárgate en mi espíritu y deja que mi alma se pierda en tus riachuelos para buscarte la fuente que te robó de niño y en, y en un ímpetu loco te devolvió al sendero. Enróscate en mis labios y deja que te beba para sentirte mío por un breve momento y esconderte del mundo y en ti mismo esconderte y oír voz este asombro en la boca del viento. So this is my translation. Rio Grande Eloisa, lengthen in my spirit and let my soul lose itself among your streams to seek the fountain that stole you as a child and in a crazed impulse returned you to your course. Coil yourself around my lips and let me drink you to feel you mine for a brief moment and hide you from the world and in yourself hide you and hear voices of amazement from the wind's mouth. Dismount for an instant from the earth's back and find of my longing the intimate secret. Confound yourself in the flight of my fantasy bird and in my daydreams leave me a rose of water. Rio Grande Eloisa, my spring, my river, Ever since the maternal petal rose me into the world, with you descended the poor slopes to find new grooves my palate desires. And my childhood was all a poem in the river and a river in the poem of my first dreams. Adolescence arrived. Life surprised me, lit in the greatest width of your eternal journey. And I was yours a million times. And in a beautiful romance, you awoke my soul and kissed my body. Where did you take the waters that bathed my figure in spigot of newly opened sun? Who knows in what remote Mediterranean country some fawn at the beach is possessing me? Who knows in what downpour, in what distant land I will be spilling myself to open new grooves? Or if perhaps, exhausted of fighting hearts, I will be freezing in ice crystals. Rio Grande Eloisa, blue, bronze, Red, blue mirror fallen, blue piece of sky. Nude white skin that turns itself black each time that crawls into your riverbed. Red stripe of blood, when rain comes down in torrents, their clay vomit in you the hills. Man river, but man with purity of river, because you give your blue soul when you give your blue kiss. Very gentle man, my river, man river. 
only man who has kissed my soul in kissing my body. Rio Grande Loiza, Big River, Big Lament, the greatest of all our island laments. If the one coming from me weren't bigger, out of my soul's eye for my enslaved people. Um, so this next poem I'm going to read is much more less um, nationalist, more feminist, but it's one of my favorite out of like everything I've heard out of hers, and some of you might have heard this before because it is one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Today, day of the dead, procession of shadows. Today, shadow among shadows. I delight in the yearning of being Don Quixote or Don Juan, or a bandit or an anarchist labor labor or a great military brass. Today, I want to be man. I'm burning with longing to be an accomplished and audacious captain, fighting in the febrile Spain of Valencia, tied to the lines of the loyal band. Today, I want to be man. I would be a Quixote. I would be the true Alonso Quijano. From the town which converged converts into heroes of life, the shadow heroes of the immortal madmen. Today, I want to be man, the best of the bandits among the seven of Ecija, the best rider among those that on seven horses flew, defying it all with blunderbuss and daggers. Today, I want to be man. I want to be a laborer, cutting down cane, sweating my wages with arms up, fist high, taking from the world my share of the bread. Today, I want to be man. Scale the walls, swindle the convents, be all a Don Juan, kidnap Sister Carmen and Sister Josefina, subdue them, and Julia de Burgo Street. Okay, um, this next one is called Nada, which is translates to nothing. Since life is nothing in your philosophy, Let's toast for the certain not being of our bodies. A toast for the nothing of your sensual lips, which are sensual zeros in your blue kisses. Mm -hmm. Like everything blue, chimerical lie of the white oceans and the white skies. A toast for the nothing of the material claim that sings and rises in your carnal desire. Like everything carnal, lightning spark in the true endless lie of the universe. Mm -hmm. A toast for the nothing so nothing of your soul, which runs its lies on a fold without breaks. Like everything nothing so nothing, it doesn't even peek in with a brief sudden spark. A toast for us, for them, for no one, for this always nothing of our never bodies, for all at the least, for so many and so nothing, for those hollow sh shadows of the living that are dead. If from the not being we come, and to the not being we march, Nothing between nothing and nothing, zero between zero and zero, and if between nothing and nothing, nothing can exist, then that's toast for the beautiful not being of our bodies. And this is the last one, and it's called Desde Puente Martin Peña, which is from the Martin Peña Bridge. <clears throat> Broken earth, the day makes itself the frame of the lagoon. An army of houses breaks the double figure of a blue sky that provides for a tranquil sea that lulls. An army of houses over the pain nestles. Plump hunger cuts the dream of emaciated creatures that did not know how to die when they stumbled on their cribs. March of split desires Stings the naked calm where the sleepy lagoon climbs its inertia. A song climbs the air over a tail of foam. A verse escapes screaming in a slip of the moon. And both return wounded by the disdain of the soil. A barefoot song is nothing, a suffered verse isn't like. Broken earth, broken st strength from constantly digging up anguish. Dressed bones, alert to an expired hope that makes faces at the souls and laughs at its wrinkles. Acts of time cutting flesh of centuries of fasting 
Inside, death commands. Outside, hunger murmurs a plea to the man that on the other side enjoy broad salaries subtracted from the workers that battle. Answer, arms crossed on the mantle, there are no industries. Workers, cut the fear. Yours is the naked earth. Skip the hunger and the death over the deep lagoon and unite with your countrymen and those who to the cane not themselves. Break a million fists against the moral so unjust. Raise your arms like they rose in Russia.